Hey guys, what's up? It's Moz here and welcome back to another video. A lot of you guys seem to enjoy when I make a video talking about different settings with OBS, so I thought it would be smart if I would remake my old 2016 video on how to add a face cam to OBS, which I think I uploaded around like July 2016. Also, I'm guessing that if you are watching this video, you do make YouTube videos or you either stream on Twitch. So feel free to comment what type of content you produce down below and maybe you can meet some new friends and even your new favorite Twitch streamer or YouTuber. But before I get started, if you guys could drop a like and subscribe if this video does end up helping you out, then I would greatly appreciate that. Now that I've gotten all that out of the way, let's get on with the video. So if you do open up the description below, you'll see a link to the obsproject.com website, which is where you would download OBS Studio. If for some reason you don't already have it, then this is where you would go. If you're still using OBS Classic for some reason, then now would be a perfect time to switch over to OBS Studio, as it's not much different and you're still getting a ton more features than OBS Classic would have. So I really don't see a reason why you would want to not make the switch and stay on Classic, but honestly I guess it's up to you, I don't think the settings are going to be too different. But anyways, once you do click download OBS Studio and you do have it installed and running, you should be greeted with the window sort of like the one that I'm about to show you guys. So yours might look white or grey instead of this black theme, but don't worry about that, that's just a theme and everything else is still the exact same. Overall the program should look pretty empty, but I'm going to run you guys through it all step by step by adding your first webcam, your game capture, adding your microphone, your monitor capture, and all that good stuff. So the first thing that we want to do is actually make a new scene. So there's a chance that you might not already have this text right here, so I'm just going to quickly get rid of my scene, and now we're going to add a new scene. So to add a new scene you just have to hit the plus button right here, and then you can type in a name for a scene. So from here feel free to name it whatever you want. You can have different scenes depending on the game you're playing, or if you're doing an intermission on your Twitch stream, or things like that. So for this one we could just name it test, but something that you might might be naming yours in the future might be like Call of Duty or maybe CSGO, H1Z1, Intermission, or maybe even just Scene. The name you give it doesn't really matter as long as you personally know what you're using it for. So once you do name it, just go ahead and click on OK and you're done with that part. Now the next thing that you do want to do is add sources, and sources are essentially where the audio and video is coming from. So this can either be your like game capture, your microphone, whatever's happening like in game and stuff like that. So we want to do the same thing we did for Scene, but instead to add a source. For video purposes, I'm just going to go ahead and do a display capture is that's just going to show you guys what's on my screen as an example for the video. So right here just click on right click then go to add and go to display capture. From here name it whatever you want again but I'm fine with the default name. From here you can click on OK. If you do have multiple monitors then you'll actually be able to select which one you want to do by just clicking on the drop down menu right here. Picking between monitor oh, 0 which is essentially your main monitor or display 1 which is your secondary monitor. If you have more then you'll see more come up but from there you can just click on OK and you should be good to go with your first scene. If for some reason you don't see anything right away like how I can see my preview right here, just go ahead and right click and make sure that you do have enable preview selected. So if in case yours looks like this, just right click and enable preview. Honestly, it shouldn't look like that if you're installing OBS for the first time ever. But uh, if it's like that, then you should go ahead and enable the preview so you actually know what's going to be recorded and streamed. Also, another side note is that I know a lot of people who record their screen using the game capture instead of the display capture, so this one right here, they tend to report having an issue with the black screen in their recording. So if that's an issue for you, just go ahead and use display capture like I I'm using right now as it's not much different at all and you'll be fine in the end. So anyways if I was to start a stream or a recording right now all my viewers would be able to see everything that's on my screen or like in my preview window right now. So as you as you guys can see it's kind of like OBS Inception right now if I move it it moves inside of like inside of inside of inside of OBS and stuff like that. So since the purpose of this video is to add a face cam let's just get back on topic and what you want to do to add a face cam is right click in the sources box one more time click on add and then from there you want to go to video capture device. And from here you can name it whatever you want, so most people just tend to, tend to name it like webcam or game capture or something, so I'm just going to quickly name it webcam. So once you do click on OK, you're actually able to mess with the settings a bit, so as you can see I click on OK and my webcam does turn on right away. And the reason that my, you guys can see my webcam right away is because that's the only thing that I have connected that's actually sending an output signal to my computer. So if you do go to the device tab, you guys probably are only going to see your webcam, but say you have like an Elgato game capture connected to your PC, and what this is is just a hardware that you can record like your consoles with like whether it's like a Wii or like a Xbox or a Playstation. But right now mine's turned off so if I was to click on that it wouldn't work. So we're going to go with my Logitech C920 which is my webcam. From here you can deactivate it, configure video and stuff like that but we're just going to skip over that. For resolution and FPS type I highly recommend that you don't do the device default. Go ahead and pick on custom and actually pick it to what you know is going to work. So I know my webcam's max is 1080p. If I was to up it to like whatever this is, it's going to start lagging. And as you can see, like I'm moving my hand, but it's going really slow. So I'm just going to change it back to 1080p and it should be good right as I change it. As you guys can see, everything's moving perfectly again. And same is going to go, go with anything that's less than what my webcam actually is. But don't go higher than what you think it is because then it's just not going to work and it's going to start lagging and stuff like that. For FPS, just go ahead and match the output FPS unless you know that it can go higher, then definitely do that. But I know that my webcam can only go to 30 FPS, so I'm just going to keep it at 30. 
which is essentially match output FPS. You can leave all the rest uh, of the things the same, so video format, UV, uh, YUV, color space, and all that good stuff. Um, I don't know why you would want to, but you can flip your screen vertically. I mean, hey guys, what's up? But I don't really know why you'd want to, but I know that some Twitch streamers do do, do some weird things, so I guess that's there for you guys. But uh, next thing is audio capture, and honestly, I don't like recording from my webcam personally because my webcam audio is pretty awful. I do have a Blue Yeti right here, which I'm recording this video with. So in my case, I would actually pick the custom audio device, and then I would scroll down a bit more, and then actually click on my Yeti. From there I can click on OK, and then as you guys can see there I am, so if you want to make the webcam smaller, what you would do is just right click, or not even right click, just single click on the red rectangle, bring it down and from like the corners and then it gets smaller. Uh, I'm not sure if you're able to do it from the side too, but I guess you are. Um, I think you're also able to do some other things with it, but I'm not too sure. Oh wait, if you hold shift, then you can actually mess with it a bit, but that's just going to ruin like the proportions and you don't want to do that unless for some reason you do. It's totally up to you, but I'm just going to keep it at 1080. Once you're done with that, you just have to click out of that, and you should be good to go. Um, let's say you want to add like an overlay or something, you can do that by just right-clicking, add, and then from here you just click add an image, click OK, and then you would browse for your overlay. And as long as the overlay is the thing that's on top, so right here, as you can see, I'm like reorganizing it as if it was layers in Photoshop or Sony Vegas. But as long as your overlay is on top of the webcam, then it's going to appear. In case it doesn't, then that's the reason why it wasn't. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Be sure to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you aren't already, because I am on the way to 40,000 subscribers, and all hope is appreciated. But other than that, I guess I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.